Diario is the um, second largest professional social network. Uh, we have about 45 million members all over the world. Um, we, we early started in France. Uh, at that time, in 2004, uh, the name of the company was Viaduc. But Viaduc doesn't really make sense outside of France. And, um, you know, by the time going, we decided to go outside of France, to grow in Europe first. And then we understood that there was something uh, happening in emerging markets, specifically in Asia. And we decided to acquire um, two platforms, one in China, which is um, uh, Tianji.com, and the other one in um, India, which, which is um, AppnaCircle.com. So it demonstrates that Viario is really global. And, um, you know, there are some places in the world where we have a, a different name, which is more adapted, which is more local. And that's our main focus. We really want to be local. That's why we decided to come in Africa, uh, where we have something around 2.5 million members to date and a huge growth uh, since we are, we are in. So this is, um, this is uh, uh, the big picture about the area. There is a huge opportunity because um, it's, a, in fact, a nice problem to have. Um, we, we are good in, uh, in uh, member acquisition because we, we did it almost naturally before being lo located here. Um, we're good in activation because our member, members are quite active. They are highly interested in um, uh, growing their career, uh, finding uh, business opportunities, and trying to use Viadeo as a link to the rest of the world. All right? So it's a very good problem. Uh, not problem, but let's say a situation. And then based on that, now we said, OK, we need to monetize, as we do in Europe, as we do as aware in the, in the world. And um, we've been facing some issues, like, um, for instance, in Europe, people used to use their credit card to buy their permanent membership. And in Africa, it doesn't work exactly the same. So in Morocco, for instance, which is one of the more mature markets in terms of uh, digital, they have their own platform. So we decided to use that platform to allow Moroccan people to pay their permanent membership uh, in DRAM, the local currency. All right? And we're thinking about doing this kind of things um, uh, in the other places in Africa, for instance, in Western Central Africa, we are keen to use mobile services, mobile payment tools to allow our members to pay easily, freely. So it's a huge opportunity, really, thanks to, in fact, uh, a huge interest in all about innovation, digital, and second, the, the youth of African people. You know, uh, we, we're good at identifying and having um, professionals on our platform. We're good also in having young people who are maybe just graduated, graduated and who understood that this is a good opportunity. And now the challenge is to get all other people in and to combine all these, uh, these people on the same platform. In fact, um, it's, it's very interesting when it comes to partnership with operators because uh, it's a win-win deal, all right? They need uh, us as a, uh, a social network uh, to, um, to get more revenue uh, based on data usage, all right? And we need them because they have the platform, they, have, um, they provide people with devices they use to, to communicate. So it's a, it's a real combination we need to, to build uh, to make sure that we miss anything. And it's a really win-win deal because um, we need them and they need us and together we can do very good. Because as I said, most of their clients are unknown people because they are prepared users, all right? So they just buy a card, a crush card, and they use it uh, once a time and not regular basis. Um, on another hand, they have some people we have also who are already their clients and who are uh, post-paying, all right? So, in fact, the combination will be really rich because we'll optimize what we have to date and we will do good in uh, the, the, the big potential we have in people who are on prepaid basis and who will be keen to um, interact, to connect uh, each other uh, and to be welcomed on our platform through the, the telco uh, companies they know already and they are in touch with, they like the brand, they can interact, and there is a huge engagement uh, between, uh, possible between uh, those companies and, and people in general. Uh, 
uh, it's quite exciting because I've, I've been sitting with a, a guy who was represent, representing Facebook. Uh, it was the first time, I think, in my life I was meeting someone <laughs> working for Facebook. And also Mixit, because I heard about Mixit. The thing is, you know, even if we're in the other side of Africa, we are getting information about South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria. So it's interesting to meet really people and to be able to to think about, okay, what could we do together? Maybe there is there are some synergy we could think about to work better because you would like later to go on the other side and we want to come on your side. So it's interesting, very interesting, very rich.